Alright, so let's talk about the best way to make a PDF for your AutoCAD drawings. So, uh, you know, it goes without saying, uh, sometimes you're going to need PDFs in the industry to uh, check things or whatever. Uh, it's just easier for everybody to have a copy of it. So, you're going to get asked a lot to make these. Uh, and there's a couple of different ways. With AutoCAD, a big part though is setting up your limits. You may notice I have my grid set up only to be within a certain boundary and that's actually like the paper edge uh, so you know you're going to want to set your limits up ideally uh, but I'll have that in a different video so there's two different ways to go about this and the first one is going to be the ideal way and it's kind of the opposite of Inventor in Inventor you know you would usually do file export but in this case we're going to do print uh, you can hit it here, you can hit it up here, or you can hit Control P, and uh, then you would go and choose. You have a couple of different options. I always do AutoCAD PDF high quality print because you get uh, every option you could dream of. And then, you know, say this was a D, I believe this is actually a B template, so I'm going to choose 11 by 17. Then I can choose for my. Uh, my what to plot as my limits because I've done those if you haven't you know you're gonna have more issues you probably would end up doing extents uh, you could do window you know and select a region but the problem is it's not very precise so ideally set up your limits uh, you choose center of the plot make sure fit to paper is selected uh, if you know it's required by other people you can go in and choose um, to make it monochrome if you want it to be a, a certain color um, you know you're mostly going to be good with the default settings if you want you can do maximum quality that's definitely a nice to have uh, and then for some people depending on how their printer is set up you know they may have to choose the different options for portrait and landscape but technically when you're choosing 11 by 17 or 17 by 11 you know it should basically choose that orientation but if you're looking now it looks like it should be portrait so when I hit preview you know this is actually not <laughs> it's a uh, it's in landscape so I'm gonna hit escape uh, to go back to this dialog box and uh, you know so you're unfortunately with AutoCAD you have to redo this plot setup every time and you know you could go into your printer preferences probably and um, set a default style and it would probably load it but that's gonna mess with your other application applications so uh, basically if you're gonna reuse the drawing potentially hit apply to layout applying this layout basically will set up when you open this file up again it'll always have it preset and that's about the best you can do uh, with this method but then I'm just gonna hit OK and uh, it'll give us a save area and then you know we'll just call this uh, holder block since that's what it actually is and I'll save it and then you know it opens up just fine over here so let's go and do the other way now and if you do export I believe once it's set up it does keep those settings forever so if you do like this interface you know that it, it's still pretty suitable so uh, I would do high quality print and then options we can leave as is so then here's the um, same like display area option from before but if you notice that limits isn't even present <laughs> so that part's kind of sad and then here is the part that you have to uh, edit the page setup when you do it and then hit this page setup override you see kind of the same options as before so I'm gonna go back choose 11 by 17 fit to paper is fine in this case um, and then it says portrait let's just see what it actually does this time and then I'm gonna just name this one um, holder block 2 let's see how it does unfortunately it didn't open it like the other one did so let's go and navigate to it and you know it, it as you can see it's not centered <laughs> So, let's see if that can be tweaked. In my opinion, I mean, you know, clearly the print one's better. But if you notice, it did retain those settings from before. And maybe there is a, um, a center button here somewhere, and I missed it. 
No. <laughs> no, there's not. So yeah, um, upon further investigation, let's just go ahead and say the best way to do it is to do the printing method. Although, you know, this is somewhat okay. Uh, no one's going to be okay with these boundaries being uneven around. You want this nice, clean setup all the way around. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.